Well, on Saturday, a special memorial blood drive will be held to honor Wendy Winters, who was a reporter killed during a mass shooting at the Capitol Gazette in June of 2018. And this morning, we are joined by Scott Martyr, and Scott is here to tell us about the event. And Scott, thank you so much for being with us. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Um, we know Wendy's name and uh, certainly a tragedy, but this is something that's positive that's coming out of that tragedy. No question. Not all heroes wear capes or funny costumes. Yeah. And Wendy Winters was that kind of person. She was a Navy mom, uh, a church youth uh, uh, advisor, and a Red Cross volunteer. Wow. Uh, tragically, though, she was a journalist, and along with four of her colleagues, she was killed in the 2018 Capitol Gazette shooting. Her heroic actions that day actually saved the lives of some of her colleagues. Yeah. And since then, her friends and her family have held this blood drive twice a year to keep her memory alive. And Saturday, mm -hmm. we're holding the blood drive. We have plenty of appointments open throughout the day. Okay. And so anyone who wants to donate can go to redcrossblood.org. And all they have to do is enter the code for Wendy. That's F-O-R-W-E-N-D-I, all together, no space. Okay to schedule an appointment. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the blood donation world. I feel like this is something we cover constantly throughout the year. We're dealing with some shortages here and there. Um, I know summer break kind of caused an issue on blood shortages. What are, what, what's the important need and why should people come out to, to help others? There was a nationwide blood shortage. There has been throughout the summer. The need for blood is continuous. The Red Cross supplies 40% of the nation's blood supply, including to about 50 hospitals in the area. And anybody could need a blood transfusion, a, a family member in a car accident, uh, someone fighting cancer. Just last week, I sat with three young ladies who had their lives saved by blood transfusions. So this is a continuous need, and we need every blood type. Okay. Now, you, you mentioned Wendy. You know, we, let's revisit just for a moment because she was a special lady. Yeah. You talked about how her actions that day yeah. helped save others. Revisit that for us. That's just what she did. She, she was an extraordinary person, as we know. And, and had it not been for Wendy, several of the people that day would not have made it and would not have survived. But I like to focus on, on now and yeah. today and keeping her legacy alive rather than what happened on that day. Okay. And, and that's what her friends and family are doing with this blood drive. Yeah, just keep her face out there. Keep her name fresh in mind. Exactly. Yeah, that's nice. And anyone can, is eligible to donate or who, who can you talk about the requirements? For yeah, that? yep. Uh, 17 years of age and older, 110 pounds, generally healthy. Uh, when, uh, when you sign up, you can do a quick health screening. And uh, when you come down there, they'll ask you a few questions. Most people can donate. It takes about an hour. One donation can save multiple lives. And when you're finished, we'll give you juice and cookies. Oh, that's a nice there you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, Scott Martin, thank you so much. And again, redcross.org. Redcrossblood.org. Red Cross, okay, and for Wendy. For Wendy, is the code. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Thank you so much, Scott. Thank you, Scott. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Absolutely.